I like that we live in a time where we have a lot of different resources available, different tools available for us as Christians, although it can have its downside too, but it's really nice, for example, to see a Bible like this from Crossway. It is an ESV kids Bible that is a thin line. It's a lot like the regular large print thin line from Crossway, but a little bit more geared toward kids, which we will see when we look inside here. It comes in a two-piece box, very nice looking. It says here that the ESV Kids Thinline Bible is a portable, readable, kid-friendly Bible for ages 8 to 12. It's got 10-point type, words of Christ in red, double-column paragraph format, dictionary, 14 full-color inserts with overviews of important parts of Scripture, 20- and 60-day reading plans through the Bible. I do want to clarify, that's not saying... 20 or 60 days through the entire Bible. <laughs> You'll see when we look at the reading plan, it's just covering certain portions of the Bible. Old Testament and New Testament timelines, eight kid-friendly maps, and a ribbon marker. So a lot of similar features to what you'll see in a regular Bible for all ages or for adults, but this is more geared toward kids. And you can see right off the bat with the box design there, it does say that it retails for about $30. You can get this, I think, on CBD for even less than $20. So very affordable, and it is what they call a true tone imitation leather or synthetic cover design. The back here actually says true tone. It is perimeter stitched, and I am looking at the gray cover which has this, I think it's called Sword of the Spirit design on the front. They have different colors and different design options that are available, depending on your personal preferences. And then the spine has some etched or tooled stamping there. Looks very nice. And as we read, it does have a ribbon marker. It's just a single ribbon marker, uh, single-sided, and angle cut. It does have these two colored head and tail bands. So nice color scheme to it, even a little bit of a silver hue to the page edges. I'm not sure if it officially says it's silver, but that's what it looks like to me. I wouldn't call it like a real strong gilt, but it still looks like it has a little bit of something on there to coat the edge of the pages. Or maybe that's just the glare, but I do think it has a little bit of a silver hue to it. And then on the inside, definitely a bright silver liner and end sheet here. You got some cardstock, and then the presentation page. So again, everything more geared toward being appealing to, uh, for children. Here's the title page. And looking at the copyright page here, it is the 2016 text edition, which is what you're seeing a lot now from ESV. It looks to me like this one was printed in 2018, and it's the first printing of that year. It is printed in China which we're also seeing a lot from Crossway these days. Table of Contents page. One of the unique things you'll see in this is kind of a red highlight design. Introduction, and a lot of things that you'll see in regular Bibles that are not geared toward children. So getting into the Old Testament, there's something I really like about this design. I'm going to show you in a little bit as far as this uh, format. It is actually the large print thin line format. So it's not too thick of a Bible. It's a 10 point font in that, I believe, lexicon font. Double column. The verse numbers are actually quite easy to pick out here, but they don't stand out too much. They're not distracting. It is line matched. It does have translator notes on the bottom of the page. You can see that poetry is in a poetic setting. 
And then there's the prose paragraph format. It does have section headings here with that red color scheme. And also on the top of the page, you see the red there. So really nice. Um, another feature of this that's really great for children is that it has some extra inserts. Here's one on the seven days of creation. And this is just helpful for them to get a little bit of extra study help, help them to understand the Bible a little bit better. I'll show you a couple of more of these. This is on the five books of Moses. And then this tells about the 12 tribes of Israel. So I think for children, this is really going to help them. I mean, let's face it, even for adults, uh, some of these things would be really helpful for a lot of us just to give us some basic information that maybe a lot of people don't really know or could certainly use refreshing on. Getting to the end of the Old Testament and into the New Testament, we did read that it has a red letter text for the words of Christ, which you can see here. And like the normal large print thin line Bibles, you will notice, especially in poetry settings, that there is a bit of ghosting. Um, the line matching is helpful to some degree, but it is quite thin paper uh, that has quite a bit of show through. So that's the one area where I, I, I would love to see some better paper there. It is still readable, but I think there could definitely be an improvement there. Here's the red letter. I would say to me it looks like it's a little bit on the bright side. But it seems like it's printed nice and darkly. Um, it, it's not faded. This is a little bit lighter maybe than what we saw before. So a little bit of color variance there with the red. And there's actually black text behind this red text. So I don't know if you can see if that affects it at all. It looks pretty readable to me. So I definitely think it's very uh, useful for young people. If you were to get them this Bible, it should be something really good for them uh, to read through, to bring to church with them. And it's nice that it does have these extra helps. So this insert that I'm looking at here uh, says the seven churches of Asia Minor. And I like how they have a map on the back here. And then when you get to the end here, it did say it has a dictionary. So that's really nice, really good feature. Help define different biblical terms. And then after the dictionary, you have a section here, God's word for me when, and just different verses that apply to different situations that people might be facing. And again, really keeping in mind with what kids might be going through. And then God's word for me about, and here's some different things that uh, the Bible teaches on, different subjects, just real short and sweet. And then you have a first reading plan for kids. So this is, I think, just a, it says it's geared toward ages 8 through 10. It includes 20 days of reading. Could be spread over a month with five readings done per week. So it's just really to give them an overview of scripture. And then here's a second reading plan for kids. This is more geared to ages 11 through 13. 60 days of reading. And again, I think it's just giving you an overview of the Bible. So I would say these helps are great for kids, but again, a lot uh, something that a lot of people could use, I, I would actually say, would be really helpful for a lot of people. Here are the timelines and maps. And <laughs> I do like this timeline. Uh, it's a very curvy timeline. It has all the years here listed out. This is BC going down to the time of Christ. Very colorful. And then the New Testament timeline. I will say a lot of Bibles have straight timelines, but maybe this is a little bit more true to life because uh, events don't often happen in a, in a nice straight line, do they? <laughs> so I like the curved timeline. Uh, and then you have the maps 
and again, just a little bit more tailored toward children. They are on non-glossy cardstock. And you can actually see stitching here on this page, showing the Smithsonian binding. So nice maps. And then you got your cardstock end sheet. And that's the end of the kids' large print thin line. Now it's not actually said to be large print on the box, but it matches the large print thin line that you will see from Crossway. And actually, one of the really great things I was noticing is that from what I can tell, both of these Bibles actually have the same pagination. So we're here on pages 1268 and 1269, the very end of the Bible, and you can see they end up on the same page. And I think what you'll see is really the wording matches up there. What is really good about that, I was thinking, is that if you are a family and maybe the parents have a Bible like this, you could have the children with these Bibles, and you could actually be on the same page as you're going through Scripture together. So it could be really good for family devotional use. And as you can see, the size of these is pretty much the same. Um, I think the paper in this one maybe isn't quite as nice. And one little problem with this Bible that I noticed is that in the middle, there were about 15 pages where it was bound in kind of a wrinkled manner. I think you can still pretty much read that, but that's just a quality con control thing that can happen sometimes. Um, but overall, the Bible was printed very nicely, and I think it's uh, very affordable. You really get a lot for your money overall. So that is a look at the kids' Bible from Crossway ESV Thin Line. And if you have any questions or comments about this Bible, I'd love to see that in the comments section below. But thank you so much for taking a look at this with me from a fresh perspective.